I don't think we've got a game here. Computer would say push this pawn onto the knight, make it dance. But I'm losing in terms of development, you know, of my other minor pieces. But if he goes back, then he's starting from scratch. If he starts dancing, we kind of are developing pawns, but I don't really like developing the pawns without any support with the pieces. So I'd say it's even Stevens. I don't think there's a major impact, major advantage by attacking the knight. I think it's just equal. It's doing something I don't really like doing, just chasing the knight around the board. And so we're going to chase it here, but then we stop at some stage because he does find a safe spot. I mean, if we attacked it again, he just comes back here. Bishop's protecting the, the pawn at the moment. So if we did do that, then he comes back again. Bishop could then attack it, but it's going too far. Um, I think now we just leave it alone and just develop the knight. Just bring the knight out. We've done our job. So we'll lose loads of tempo just thinking of, oh, I've got his knight, I've got his knight. No, let's just... Uh, interesting. I'm going to go for his knight. <laughs> what was I just saying? Oh, dear. Okay, so... I'm going to go for his knight. See, yeah. So we're going to just take here. So in on this occasion, we actually got the knight off the board. And um, we're targeting this pawn here. Could we get away with it? Bishop takes, king takes, we've disheveled the king. Get the knight up. King goes to safety here. No, it doesn't go safety there. King comes and attacks. Bishop takes, king takes, knight up with a check, if nothing can attack it, comes with a check, it doesn't have to go, if he goes there then it's a bit bad isn't it, because the queen can come here, but then he can defend by just dropping his pawn. Hmm. I feel like there's something, you know. Takes King. Uh, he can always go back again. But in any event. Well if he goes back, still get the Queen here. I mean if he goes there and it's yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to go one way or the other, doesn't he? Or come forward. Get the queen here. It's not going to allow that to happen in a sense, is it? So his bishop will probably come and defend. But then the knight can take the bishop so the pawn will drop. So that the queen is defending the pawn. Okay, maybe we we'll stay away from that, but we'll look at that afterwards in the evaluation. So I think there was something there. Let's take this pawn. Okay, let's hope I remember um, because let's castle king safety. And sometimes as well, when you do actually take a minor piece off the board or a piece off the board, you have to look at your position sometimes and think, well, are you actually in a better position from taking that? Because they might... Shall we go for maybe this? Oh, he's going to beat us to it. He's the one that started the Fianchetto. So I'm going to have to move my rook. Oh, okay. Well, he's gone with the queen even. Bring the knight here. It's uh, blocking for now. 
So he's gone for single movement so far. So we're developing our minor pieces as best possible. Just trying to get some, because it's not clear, you know, that's what, what I was saying was them. Um, yes, we've got his knight off the ball, but is our position really any good? Can we do anything? Got a bit of an attack here, but then I'm putting myself on weakness because I've got nothing protecting the knight. Because the worst case scenarios is you take a piece off the ball, but then they have a better position and with their less pieces that they've got their positions too strong and you can't actually do anything about even getting getting mated or or getting another piece taken off the board so that's why you have to be a little bit careful when you're capturing stuff really is it really a good capture or is it a bad capture is it a good check on the king or a bad check on the king where are you sending the knights to? You know, when you're attacking them, can they reverse around and then attack your king, put a check on your king, and then they can take a higher piece off the board? All these little thought processes definitely run through my mind anyway. Okay, so the knight's out, still looking for this, but we don't have any support on here because we'd basically be having that and that, but I suppose this is going to drop the pawn. If we went for this little thing here with the bishop there, getting the support, moving the knight, it just simply pushes here, but his knight, our knight will be on his queen. Might be a little bit of a tactic, might more. I don't do tactics, but it might be a little bit of a something to do is there something better though normally i would just be developing the rook here because now it's going to be attacking our knight okay let's go with that for now we'll go for the slow process of potentially going here to go here if we're allowed to so what's his knight doing he's moved there so quick opening up his white square bishop hmm he moved there so quick I'm, I can't see it just yet so we'll follow on with this long drawn out process that we said but we're one move away from oh he's um, protecting this square so we'll have to do a bit of a shifty on it first or he moves his rook first so that he gets out of the pin I think he understands what we're trying to do that's why that knight move was made. I think. Hmm. Yeah, he's moved the rug, so he, un he understands what we were trying to do. Okay, let's touch the knight anyway. Because sometimes, like we said, mentioned before, oops, messing with my camera. Um, like I've mentioned before, when the snowball starts sometimes you just you can see it coming but there's nothing you can do about it so if we did on pass on does his pawn take if his pawn takes then he loses his rook so that's not going to work is it so i'm going to take So he saw our plan and then he started working down on the other side of the board to give us something to think about but he's already got a piece under attack and he can't well he can take the pawn back but he's going to lose out so in the meantime we could take his pawn off but i'm going to go with the knight first even though the knight doesn't have any protection on it that's the thing but his queen can't come here but i suppose it oh it connects way right through to our queen can't it yeah so we go here then he drops there and x-rays through to our queen which doesn't have any protection on we can bring the bishop here 
are we losing tempo in terms of being able to do anything up here there's no forks with the pawn could take with the pawn it's highly elevated up the board do -do 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 oh we could just move the knight here because we've got the yeah so we could move the knight here because then it's got the potential for jumping into this square here I'm going to go with that because of this discover check that we've got with the queen he, ha he has to do something I don't think he can squeeze in to protect here with his queen so we're going to actually win that rook unless of course he takes the knight off the board but then we take his queen off the board it sounds complicated but it's, I, I think I'm understanding what's happening so he's moved the queen oh he does actually protect but the thing is it's not protected properly because the knight still has support from the highly elevated pawn so the rook still does come off the board but do we focus on that rook or is there a better thing that we can do do we have a multiple attack i mean this is a weak pawn but we can't do much about it and the rook can come and face the pawn but that's nothing meaty queen can come here but again that's nothing to so i think it's just a straight take of the rook at the minute So we're not over egging anything, just trying to find these nice positions. It's a little bit extended is the night, so we've then got to think about what's the next move from this point on, what's the position like. At the minute, their king may be struggling for a bit of safety, so we need to try and take advantage of that. So he's actually moved the king. actually move the king this pawn is going as well we still got this mind you his knight can take the pawn but yeah then he'll take our knight back with the rook but our bishop could take and then we're on his rook here as well so if we take this i suppose he's going to move his rook first isn't he i'm going to take this rook for oh look at him our rook could take the pawn and it's saving the knight or we can just go and take this pawn and be on his rook his rook drops back down we come back and attack the knight or do we just simply take this I don't want to trap my rook what's his white square bishop doing rook comes up bishop probably still comes here Well, I can always move my knight anyway because I've got my outpost, haven't I? Yeah, okay. Oh, hold on though. Because the knight's protecting the pawn. So I go rushing up here. Hmm, what, what is he doing? He... Hmm. Oh, which one's best? That's, that's going to be on a higher piece. I've already taken a higher piece off the board. So you'd think I'd just go and take that. Because then if his queen takes the pot, takes the knight, then at least my rook can attack his queen. His queen moves to the side and attacks the pawn. Don't really like that picture. Comes and attacks the pawn. Bishop can come and defend. Not for long though. This comes down here. don't like it okay gonna go for the oh looks like they've left the game i must have been taking too long <laughs> oh dear damn oh that's a shame isn't it i mean it's a long play game isn't it maybe they just took too much damage or something shall i claim victory they might come back no i don't think they're gonna come back either no okay Oh, well, that's a shame. Oh, I was going to have a look at that position one time with the bishop thing. I thought there might be something there, but I just want to see whether or not 
there was and if there wasn't then I can rest easy but if there was I think I'm just going to where was that so it's here there and yeah it was a bit round here wasn't it so I said take in here gauge bar is not happy go in here um, where does it go um, and then we said the queen potentially come in here but then it's just going to block with the pawn so maybe coming here and it's dropping even more so there's nothing saying e6 yeah dropping the pawn because the queen can protect hoping that he takes there but he's probably taken with the bishop so it's not losing it would take a brave man to have done it yeah because now it's talking poor move here yeah yeah it's still plus 1.7 but yeah there's no re it's not nailed on I think from the point when I saw that the, the pawn could drop down and the queen can defend then it really wasn't as clear which is a shame so yeah I think I'm glad I didn't take it because it would have been a bit of a headache good stuff